Are we finally witnessing some much needed blowback regarding the witch hunt element of the Me Too movement? Thanks to the outrageous accusations against TV Ontario host Steve Pakin? Let us all hope so. Former Toronto mayoralty candidate Sarah Thompson dropped a bombshell the other day accusing TVO host Steve Pakin of inappropriately propositioning her. Allegedly, he offered her a spot on his TV show if Thompson would sleep with him. Now, it should be noted that nothing has been proven in a court of law and unless and until the real facts come out, we are left trying to assess the likelihood of the allegation by Sarah Thompson as being true. And at the same time, we need to consider the reliability of the denial by Steve Pakin. That being said, regardless of where you reside on the political spectrum, I would argue that anyone who has ever met Mr. Pakin would have an easier time believing that the world is flat than buying Thompson's allegations. As well, why would he have made such an offer to Sarah Thompson, given that one, Thompson, who was a fringe candidate for mayor of Toronto, is yesterday's news, and two, Thompson is known as a publicity hound. Steve Pakin, on the other hand, is a professional and has always seemed to demonstrate himself to be a paragon of fairness. He's committed to ethical journalism and he's an all around nice guy. The idea that he'd make such a proposition to Sarah Thompson just strains credulity. Nevertheless, according to a Toronto Star story, Thompson recently wrote on her website that during the 2010 mayoralty campaign, she and her executive assistant had lunch with, quote, the host of a political talk show, end quote, to discuss another appearance. Wrote Thompson, not five minutes into the lunch, the host asked me if I would sleep with him. My assistant almost spit his drink all over the table. Thompson then claims she politely declined Pakin's alleged offer. She then went to the washroom and called her campaign manager, who advised her to leave what she allegedly did. Thompson said in her email to Pakin, which was obtained by the Star, that her executive assistant went back to the, their office after lunch and told the, quote, entire campaign team, you weren't interested in discussing the show, but instead wanted to sleep with me, end quote. But here's where things make one raise a spocky and eyebrow. Ryan Kelly told the star he worked as an assistant for Thompson during her 2010 campaign, but Kelly says he has no knowledge of Thompson meeting with Pakin, and he says he was also not aware of the allegations Thompson is currently making against Pakin. Just so we all know who it is we're talking about here when it comes to the accuser, check out Sarah Thompson presenting her well thought out transit policy during her last doom campaign for mayor of Toronto. And kids, whatever you do, don't forget to put on your 3D glasses for full effect. When we can't seem to build out all the subways we are wanting, refusing to find the transit that we need. Wow, what a stateswoman. Maggie Thatcher, eat your heart out. That wasn't the first time she's tackled transit issues, however, with music videos. Why can't I get from A to B? A line of cars is all I see. But no one wants to pay a dime. Oh, we need to invest. Your head is saying no more tax. My dear, we've got to see the facts. Today we're all out of time. Gee, makes you wonder if she was running for mayor of Toronto or to be a host at Much Music. Now, in the Department of Full Disclosure, I must mention that I have a bit of a history with Sarah Thompson. When I worked at the now-defunct Sun News Network, she took exception to one of my commentaries in which I stated that I didn't believe her when she alleged that a former Toronto mayor had made a series of inappropriate and unwanted remarks and advances at her at a public event. 
Sun News was slapped with a libel notice from Thompson's lawyer. I did an on-air mea culpa. But when it comes to inappropriate sexual comments, consider this damning evidence about Sarah Thompson. As initially reported in McLean's magazine, Thompson once offered to sleep with media baron Conrad Black if he would consent to an interview to be published in her magazine, The Woman's Post. When this was made public, Thompson didn't deny she made this offer. Rather, she fell back on the old, hey, I was only joking shtick. Yeah, it was just one of those people kind moments. But if that zinger was meant to be humorous, I'd say this was one sick joke, especially since it was emanating from someone who headed up a magazine about female empowerment. But Sarah is someone who seems to want it both ways. Check out this radio interview in which the woman who would be mayor actually uses an oral sex metaphor to talk transit. Your little uh, spiel here. My little spiel. Like this, I, like sexy, like you're a phone okay, sex Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done that yet? But who knows after politics. Um, yeah, so vote for me because I want to go down, down, underground with oh. our transit. <laughs> oh, class. But... In the here and now, folks, kudos to TV Ontario for not throwing Steve Pakin under the bus by removing him from the anchor's chair based on an unsubstantiated allegation. This is no hashtag me too moment. This is more of a hashtag let's talk scenario. And for his part, Pakin is not going quietly into the night. Rather, he's fired back at Thompson in a 600 word rebuttal it's too long to recite in its entirety here, but here's how it concludes. Quote, Sarah, you and I both know the incident you described never happened. It's complete fiction. To be clear, I did not have sex, suggest, request, imply, or joke about having sex with you. Sadly, in this day and age, too many people are going to believe the lie, especially when it comes to this subject. I am mortified that in many people's eyes, I have lost the presumption of innocence that I previously enjoyed. But I did not do these things. There is simply no truth to these allegations. You've defamed me, Sarah. I have no idea why, but you have. And I simply can't allow that to stand. The quest to reclaim my reputation, which you've tried to destroy, begins now. I look forward to vindication." End quote. I wonder if part of Pakin's vindication process will entail the filing of a multi-million dollar defamation lawsuit against Thompson. And I wonder if he will get his day in court, so to speak, or will he be tried in the court of public opinion? And if that can happen to Steve Pakin, it can happen to any of us. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like that commentary, please consider becoming a premium Rebel subscriber and never miss another Rebel video.